Hello, welcome back to the VDC space. Today we're going to be modeling a concrete box culvert. Now the trick to this is we're going to use a family template, specifically a beam family template. Uh, we, we're just going to keep it simple. We're not going to over model or uh, make it a lot more complex. We're just going to keep it simple. In short, we're going to create a dummy family, if I can put it that way, in a sense that we're not going to add a lot more complex parameters. We're not going to make it uh, uh, parametric as, uh, as such. We're just going to keep it simple, um, a 3D geometry, uh, which is representative of a box culvert that can be used for visualization. So let's begin. Now, the first thing you're going to do here in Revit 2023, we're going to go to family and we're going to go to new. And as you can see, we are under English. We're going to use, we're going to use the metric templates. And as you scroll down and go to metric uh, structural framing, uh, beams and braces, and you're going to open that. And as you can see on this template, we have uh, this extrusion. You're just going to select it and delete. And this line in the middle, you're going to delete it. And we're also going to remove these two reference lines. Now, you have to be careful when it comes to family templates and re reference lines because uh, whenever you add a reference line, it's certainly going to... Um, affect your geometry, especially when you take your families into a project and when you want to set, when you want to set the geometry in a certain way. So the reference line are really sensitive and you have to be careful on how you, on how you set them because they have a, uh, really have a major effect on how your geometry gets distorted and how it gets, uh, represented on your project. So. Here we are on the reference level, which is basically the floor plan of the BIM family template. And the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna go to we're gonna go to left uh, the left elevation. And as you can see on the left elevation, we're just gonna extend this uh, reference line at the bottom. Just gonna select it and extend it like so. And the first thing you're gonna do is just go to create and then reference line at the top you are just gonna place it randomly at the top and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust the height and select it and then make the height 355 millimeters there you go and as you can see we have this uh, middle reference line so we're just gonna use it in order for us to offset some of the reference lines on the side in order for us to construct our box culvert so go back to create and then pick lines and then go to offset and then you're gonna uh, say equal sign 635 divided by 2 and then press enter and then you're gonna pick your your middle reference line and as you can see we basically have our shape of our the shape of our culvert so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna add more reference lines in order for us to uh, create our um, um, offsets inside our culvert because there will be two openings on our culvert so we're going to go back to create a reference a reference plane again and then uh, pick lines and then set our offset to 30 30 millimeters and then this side also and then offset again and then we're going to set it to 30 again inside and then you're gonna offset from the base it's gonna be 35 and uh, also offset from the middle again is gonna be equal sign 35 divided by 2 press enter and then you're gonna offset it like this Press escape and this is what you have. Now it's time to add our extrusions. Basically we have our box culvert 
already constructed based on the reference lines. We're just going to add our extrusions. So go back to create and then extrusion. And as you can see, you have to set your work plane. Remember, we're on the left elevation. So you're going to go to pick a plane and then you're going to drop down this menu and then go to reference plane left. OK. And as you can see, we're going to add our uh, rectangle like so. So you're just going to add your extrusions. These are your openings. And of course, you got to add your, your, your fillets on the corners of these uh, rectangles. So we're just going to make it 20 millimeters. And as you can see, when you hover over your lines, you can see from Revit that uh, it indicates the dimensions uh, uh, depicted by those uh, blue annotations which disappear when you scroll around. But when you hover over your line, uh, it guides you on the, um, the dimensions that you want to place. So we're just going to place it like so. Now, in order for us to not waste time, we're going to select it and then go to mirror, draw axis, and then you're going to hover over this line until you meet the midpoint. And then you're going to draw your line like this. Same situation, the side, you're just going to say control select and then go to mirror, draw axis, and then go to the middle, place it like so. And then it's going to be the, the same situation on the other box. Just say control select. Now this time you're going to go to mirror, pick axis, and then pick this middle uh, reference line. And this is what we have. Now just gonna uh, remove uh, these uh, lines by going to trim and extend trim and extend trim and extend So this is what you have. You basically have your box culvert. Now you say you're gonna say finish edit mode, and when you go to your 3D uh, 3D view, this is what you have. There's your openings. That's where the water uh, will go, and you are just gonna select it and then go to material, and then on these three dots you're gonna change it to cast in place. Uh, we actually gonna change it to concrete precast concrete and say okay. And then you're going to change this detail level to fine and then change the graphics to shaded. And as you can see, this is what you have. Now, the basis, remember, we used the beam family template. And in order for us to control the length of uh, this culvert, we have to set our reference line in order for them to control this culvert. And what do I mean by that? Just go back to the reference level or the floor plan. And as you can see, it's offset. We want it right here in the middle. So you can just remove these extra reference lines that we use for us to uh, construct our culvert, select them, and then remove them. So you're just going to select your box culvert and then place it inside like so. And as you can see, we have our um, predefined reference lines that come with the template, which is uh, right side, the left side, and also the center, and also the center. Now, in order for us to make the reference line control the length of this box culvert, we have to lock our right and left reference lines. And what do how, and how we how do we do that? We we're gonna go to align or AL for short. AL press AL on your keyboard, and this is what you have. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select your reference plane, and then select the end of your box culvert, and then lock it. Same situation this side reference plane, your box culvert, and then lock it. Go back to the 3D view. This is what you have. And now when you take it to your project, it's easy for you to control the, the length of your culvert because you set your reference planes uh, to control the length of this culvert. So 
in order for us to load this into our project, you're just going to go to uh, press, ho press the home bu uh, button and go to models, uh, create a new project. You can just go to structural template, OK, and then go to level one under structural plans and then go back to your uh, your family template and then say load into project and close. I'm not going to save this, no. And then you're just going to draw it in, in your project like so. And when you go to your 3D view, this is what you have. You can just change this to fine and shaded. And this is what you have. So yeah, that's it. That's just a dummy version of a box culvert created from a family template. Um, usually I like using beams when it comes to this stuff because of the flexibility uh, provided by the beam family template because you can do a lot more. You can, uh, you can construct a curving culvert if that makes sense. Like so, it can slope. You can obviously change the slope uh, by adjusting your start level offset and end level offset. Maybe take this to 100, say OK. And as you can see, this is what you have, or 1,000. And as you can see, you have a sloping culvert. So I think the Beam Family template provides flexibility when it comes to creating uh, these uh, structural uh, elements so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching and i hope you will like and subscribe and we'll meet again on the next tutorial peace